Hello friends, welcome to this video on introduction to Euclid's geometry. In this video, we will discuss some facts related to Euclid's definitions. Let's start with a question. Friends, in geometry, why do we consider a point, a line and a plane as undefined terms? Do you know the reason? Let's understand this. According to the first definition given by Euclid, a point is that which has no part. Here he did not define part. If we define a part by the space it occupies, can you make or show a point which has no part? No, it is not possible. No matter how small a point we make, it will occupy some space. And according to Euclid's second definition, a line is a breathless length. Here, breadth and length are not defined. Friends, can we actually draw a line which has no breadth? No, because no matter how thin a line is drawn, it will have some breadth. Similarly, according to this definition of Euclid, a surface is one that has only length and breadth. Is it actually possible to have a surface that has only length and breadth? This is also not possible. No matter how thin a surface we take, it will have some thickness. Looking at all these facts, we can say that according to the definitions given by Euclid, it is not possible to show a point, the breadth of a line and the thickness of a surface in reality. Therefore, in geometry, point, line and surface, that is plane, are assumed to be undefined. So friends, that's all in this session. Today, we discussed some facts related to Euclid's definition. See you in the next video. Thank you.